The Sledge Sisters, a Philadelphia-born musical quartet, each left their unique mark on the disco era. Their 1971 collaboration gave birth to a group that captivated audiences worldwide. Their 1979 breakthrough album, We Are Family, soared to the top three on the Billboard charts, featuring the chart-topping He's the Greatest Dancer and the soul-stirring We Are Family, a Grammy-nominated anthem. Though their musical journey has evolved, their talents and undeniable family bond continue to inspire new generations of artists and music lovers. Sister Sledge continued their success beyond their disco peak, scoring hits like My Guy, a remake of Mary Wells' classic, Mama Never Told Me, and Thinking of You. They even topped the UK charts with Frankie in 1985. Even after Kathy went solo in 1989, she remained connected to the group, occasionally rejoining for special performances and releases. Their legacy reached new heights in 2015 when they performed for Pope Francis himself. Roots in Song and Community Nestled in the vibrant city of Philadelphia, for musical seeds blossomed, Debbie, Joni, Kim, and Kathy Sledge. Born in the years 1954, 1956, 1957, and 1959 respectively, their artistic lineage pulsed with the rhythm of their parents, Broadway tap dancer Edwin Sledge and actress Flores Sledge. But it was their grandmother, Viola Williams, who truly nurtured their voices. A former lyric soprano and protege of civil rights leader Mary McLeod Bethune, Viola instilled in her granddaughters a love for music that echoed through the pews of Williams Temple Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Here, their young voices soared, filling the hallowed space with gospel harmonies and laying the foundation for their future journey. As their passion for music blossomed, the sisters formed a band aptly named Mrs. Williams' grandchildren. From charity events to political rallies, they serenaded Philadelphia with their vibrant sound, their youthful energy resonating with the diverse tapestry of the city. Through the halls of Olney High School, their voices found their melodies, graduating in the years 1972, 1974, 1975, and 1977. But the pull of music proved too strong, drawing them all to Temple University, where they honed their musical talents and prepared to take the world by storm. Net Worth of Sledge Sisters According to some sources, their net worth is estimated to be around 27 million. However, the group has also faced some family disputes and legal issues over the years, especially after Kathy left the group in 1989 to pursue a solo career. She claimed that she was not allowed to use the name as Sister Sledge or perform their songs. The remaining sisters continued to perform as Sister Sledge, while Kathy collaborated with other artists and created her shows. Where did all this success emanate from? Early Hustle and Hometown Roots Fueled by passion and family, the Sledge sisters took their burgeoning talent on the road. Led by their mother Flores, who doubled as manager and tour bus driver, and Debbie, the group's musical director, they crisscrossed the East Coast, their soulful sounds echoing through New York, New Jersey, and of course, their beloved Philadelphia. In 1971, they planted their musical flag with the single, Time Will Tell, which blossomed on the local Philadelphia label Money Back. Two years later, Mama Never Told Me struck a chord across the pond, becoming a top 20 hit in the UK in 1975. International acclaim and shared spotlight. But it was 1974 that truly marked their ascension. Their collaboration with Patrick Grant and Gwen Guthrie on Love Don't Go Through No Changes on Me exploded in Japan, propelling them onto the Tokyo Music Festival stage, where they claimed the prestigious Silver Prize. This wasn't their only brush with musical royalty. The same year, they shared the stage with the legendary James Brown at the electrifying Zaire 74 concert in Africa, their voices rising above the roar of the crowd during the historic Rumble in the Jungle boxing event. These early years were a testament to the Sledge Sisters' unwavering dedication and talent. They toured tirelessly, honed their craft, and embraced every opportunity, earning respect and acclaim with each musical milestone. Their journey, fueled by family and fueled by passion, was just beginning. From Circle of Love to Blockbuster Beginnings, Sister Sledge's European Odyssey. In 1975, Sister Sledge embarked on a new chapter with their debut album, Circle of Love. Released under the wings of ATCO, a subsidiary of Atlantic Records, the album resonated with European audiences thanks to songs penned by the talented Gwen Guthrie and her then-boyfriend, studio bassist Patrick Grant, later known as Harris Fire. Buoyed by this European success, the sisters took their act across the Atlantic, recording together in Germany in 1977 under the Cotillion label, another Atlantic branch. 
While Together didn't quite set the US charts ablaze, the single, blockbuster Boyk proved a minor hit, snagging a respectable 61st spot on the US R&B chart. This taste of success hinted at the group's growing potential, paving the way for their future disco domination and their iconic anthems that would soon make them household names. From Circle of Love to Blockbuster Beginnings, Sister Sledge's European Odyssey In 1975, Sister Sledge embarked on a new chapter with their debut album, Circle of Love. Released under the wings of ATCO, a subsidiary of Atlantic Records, the album resonated with European audiences thanks to songs penned by the talented Gwen Guthrie and her then-boyfriend, studio bassist Patrick Grant, later known as Harris Fire. Buoyed by this European success, the sisters took their act across the Atlantic, recording together in Germany in 1977 under the Cotillion label, another Atlantic branch. While Together didn't quite set the US charts ablaze, the single, blockbuster Boyk proved a minor hit, snagging a respectable 61st spot on the US R&B chart. This taste of success hinted at the group's growing potential, paving the way for their future disco domination and their iconic anthems that would soon make them household names. From Crossroads to Disco Dynasty, Sister Sledge's rise to stardom. At a pivotal crossroads in their career, Sister Sledge faced an uncertain future. But fate stepped in, connecting them with the legendary producers Niall Rogers and Bernard Edwards of Chic. This dream collaboration sparked a creative fire, culminating in the groundbreaking album We Are Family. Released in 1979, We Are Family A exploded onto the scene, shattering boundaries and propelling Sister Sledge to global stardom. The lead single, He's the Greatest Dancer, electrified audiences with its infectious groove, topping the R&B charts and reaching the prestigious top 10 on the pop charts. But the real magic came with the anthemic title track. We Are Family resonated across the globe, soaring to number 2 on the pop charts and claiming the top spot on the R&B charts. This powerful anthem transcended the dance floor, becoming the official song of the Pittsburgh Pirates, who rode its emotional wave to victory in the 1979 World Series. Sister Sledge, forever immortalized in baseball history, was invited to perform the national anthem at the opening game before a roaring crowd of 45,000 fans. We Are Family It wasn't just a hit, it was a cultural phenomenon. The album went platinum, spawning iconic disco classics like Lost in Music and Thinking of You. With Debbie Sledge taking maternity leave, eldest sister Carol stepped in, showcasing the group's remarkable depth and versatility. They were crowned Billboard's Best New Artists, cementing their status as disco royalty. The momentum continued with their 1980 follow-up, Love Somebody Today, also written and produced by the masterful Rogers and Edwards. The lead single, while not a chart-topping behemoth, kept the disco flame burning brightly. Embarking on a three-year global tour, Sister Sledge mesmerized packed stadiums with their electrifying live performances. Their musical exploration continued with 1981's G All American Girls, a collaboration with renowned producer Narada Michael Walden. While the album bore his artistic stamp, the title track became another R&B smash, reaching the coveted number three spot. Sister Sledge's creative spirit shone through with their self-produced album The Sisters in 1982. This record delivered the unforgettable My Guy, the soulful cover of Mary Wells' classic that captivated audiences, peaking at number 14 on the R&B charts and number 23 on the pop charts. Their captivating performance of the song on The Jeffersons further cemented their place in musical history. From the crossroads to the disco dynasty, Sister Sledge's journey is a testament to talent, resilience, and unwavering passion. Their infectious grooves and uplifting messages continue to resonate today, reminding us of the power of music to unite and inspire. Sister Sledge, a legacy of music and family through the years. White House performance and a nation healing. As the Clinton administration drew to a close in December 2000, Sister Sledge, Kathy, Debbie, Joni, and Kim received the prestigious honor of performing at the White House for the President and First Lady. Little did they know that their timeless anthem, We Are Family, would soon take on a new and powerful meaning in the aftermath of the September 11th attacks. In 2001, the sisters joined forces with musical icons like Diana Ross and Patti LaBelle to re-record We Are Family as a benefit record, offering a message of unity and hope in a time of darkness. Solo Ventures and Reunions The early 2000s saw the Sledge sisters exploring individual projects while maintaining their musical bond. Debbie, Joni, and Kim ventured into solo territory, and in 2003, they reunited to record the album Style. Unfortunately, due to legal complications, the album remained unreleased. 
Despite these challenges, the sisters' passion for music and performing remained unwavering. Kim, ordained as a minister, occasionally stepped back from the group, but Kathy and Joni continued to grace international stages. In 2005, they even conquered the iconic Pyramid stage at the Glastonbury Festival in the UK, proving that their music transcended generations and borders. Oprah and Beyond 2011 marked another significant moment for Sister Sledge. They joined a stellar lineup of musical legends on The Oprah Winfrey Show for the A Women Who Rock episode, showcasing their enduring talent and influence. The following year, Tanya Teet was welcomed into the fold, adding fresh energy to the group. Headlining Tramlines and a Papal Performance In 2014, Sister Sledge headlined the Tramlines Festival in Sheffield, UK, sharing the stage with hip-hop giants Public Enemy. They also collaborated with Scottish electronic producer The Revenge, recording the track Stay A While in London. With Kim rejoining the group in 2015, the three sisters performed at a major charity event in London for Save the Children, demonstrating their commitment to social causes. But perhaps their most unforgettable performance came later that year when they were invited to perform for Pope Francis at the World Festival of Families in Philadelphia. Sharing the stage with Aretha Franklin and Andrea Bocelli, Sister Sledge captivated a global audience, with videos of nuns dancing to We Are Family going viral. This heartwarming moment cemented their place as musical ambassadors of love and unity. A legacy that endures. Despite the tragic passing of Joni Sledge in 2017, Debbie and Kim continue to carry the torch of Sister Sledge, honoring their family's musical legacy. In 2019, Debbie's daughter Camille Sledge joined the group, adding a new generation of talent and keeping the Sledge sound alive for years to come. Visuals to enhance the story White House performance Imagine the sisters in elegant gowns, belting out, We are family, in the opulent setting of the White House, with President and First Lady Clinton looking on with appreciation. September 11th Tribute Picture the Sledge sisters joining hands with Diana Ross and Patti LaBelle, their faces etched with determination and hope as they sing for a nation in need of healing. Glastonbury Festival Capture the electrifying energy of the sisters on the pyramid stage, their voices soaring above a sea of cheering fans. Oprah Winfrey Show Show the Sledge sisters sharing a warm embrace with Oprah Winfrey, surrounded by other iconic female musicians. Papal Performance Depict the sisters in reverent awe as they perform for Pope Francis, surrounded by a diverse crowd of believers. What do you think of the Sledge sisters and their accomplishments? Thank you for watching. For more informative content like this, subscribe and click on the bell notification.